Congratulations on your milestone reunion. Whether you are marking five or 70 years since graduation or anywhere in between, we're delighted to celebrate this very happy anniversary year. I extend particular congratulations to our 25th and 50th reunion classes and warm greetings to all of our Purple Knights as well. Earlier in 2021, we made the very difficult decision to cancel in-person gatherings for reunion this year. Since my inauguration as president nine years ago, reunion weekends have always been a very special time during the first weeks of June. The opportunity to welcome alumni back to campus, to see friends reunited, provide updates to those gathered, showcase the latest improvements to facilities and initiatives, and to gather together around the altar in St. Joseph Memorial Chapel has truly been an annual highlight for me. In these final days of my presidency, I feel particular loss at not being able to welcome you home and spend the weekend with you one last time. In true Holy Cross spirit, though, we have used our creativity and initiative to all come together and overcome the difficulties presented by our present context. I am so heartened that many class volunteers have worked with our alumni relations staff to plan meaningful virtual encounters and alternate, alternate opportunities for celebration this year. During this virtual event, I am also pleased that we will be able to provide information on enhanced programs and facilities that your support makes possible and which benefit our current students, those who have followed in your footsteps to Mount St. James. Just as is our regular tradition at Reunion, there will be fora for learning, reconnecting with classmates, engagement with contemporary issues, and of course, time for celebration. Some of our virtual programming will be live and some content will be available on demand through the Reunion website. I certainly hope you can participate. It's during times like Reunion that I reflect on just how many remarkable accomplishments we have achieved together for Holy Cross. On the heels of our highly successful Become More campaign, and with so many other fine realizations, the college now stands at the threshold of even greater promise. There are so many wonderful things going on at Holy Cross, and please permit me to mention just a few. First of all, we're glad to announce that earlier this spring that it is our intention to return to fully in-person operations for the fall semester of 2021. This is so important as the Holy Cross model of liberal arts education and the tight-knit community for which we are known really thrives on living and learning in physical proximity. In addition, essential parts of the Holy Cross experience, such as community-based learning, direct service in the community and study abroad, to mention only a few, have been most challenging during this pandemic when physical distancing has been required. While we did have a large part of the student body on campus this spring, not all of our community was here and many classes were virtual. So we are eager to resume the fully in-person experience at the end of August. I am incredibly excited to highlight that the new Joanne Chenard Luth Recreation and Wellness Center opened for student use this past semester. The Joe, as we affectionately call it, is a truly remarkable space. This state-of-the-art facility is a monumental improvement from our much-beloved field house, and the entire entrance to the upper campus now looks stately and welcoming providing an appropriate complement to the main entrance on Linden Lane. The Joe houses ample space and equipment for student recreation and intramurals, and the building has some wonderful views of campus and the city of Worcester. I hope that you'll be able to visit campus sometime soon to see this wonderful development. You will also be amazed at the progress on the prior Center for Performing Arts, currently under construction and set to open in 2022. It is really starting to take shape with the outer structure largely completed. Work on interior spaces will continue over the course of the next year, and we look forward to the exterior landscaping and finishing that will complete our plan for the upper campus. During your next reunion, you will have an opportunity to tour the Prior Center, which truly will be one of the finest art facilities north of New York City, and which will literally and figuratively place the arts centrally within each student's experience at Holy Cross. And speaking of enhancing student experience, 
You will recall that this past January, we launched our new Hope and Access Campaign for Financial Aid, an 18-month campaign that runs until June 30th, 2022, in which we plan to raise $40 million for financial aid at Holy Cross. The campaign aims to ensure that all admitted students have the opportunity to attend Holy Cross and experience our life-changing education, regardless of financial need. Importantly, an extraordinarily generous bequest by Agnes Williams, widow of Edward Bennett Williams, class of 41, parent of Ned, class of 83, and grandparent of Adair, class of 12, and Tess, 24, will be used to match all new and increased gifts to the college in support of financial aid. Agnes's bequest of $23.5 million from her estate, the largest estate gift in the history of the college, along with your continued support of our talented students, will enable Holy Cross to increase our funding for financial aid at a moment when so many challenges have created a climate of uncertainty and financial stress for current but also future members of our Holy Cross community. Finally, as you know, Vince Rougeau has been named as the 33rd president of the college and will succeed me in leading Holy Cross on July 1st. Vince is an impressive leader, and I hope that you have had a chance to learn a bit of his extraordinary background. He is uniquely qualified to lead Holy Cross, and he will count on your continued loyalty and engagement. I know that you will give him a very warm welcome and orientation, just as you did for me nearly a decade ago. On behalf of the administration, faculty, staff, and students of Holy Cross, thank you for your fidelity to our college family and for your agility and resilience in celebrating your reunion virtually this year. Your health and safety and that of our campus community are so important to us. And I know that you will return to campus as soon as restrictions on travel and gatherings are relaxed. Homecoming is scheduled for October 2nd, when our football team will take on Harvard. And I am confident that if you are not able to travel to Worcester then, it will not be too long before you are drawn back to the Hill for one of the vibrant events that we all treasure as members of this unique community. Please enjoy being in touch with one another and engaging with Alma Mater these days. And God bless you, and thank you for everything that you do for Holy Cross.